Hi, my name is Nick Ferguson, and I'm just going to talk about Genesis uh, because a lot of people don't really understand what's going on there. So, and I'm just maybe I'm just going to present an idea. You can think about it. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just read the stuff, and I'm just trying to present it as what I think the author is trying to present to me. Uh, some people they jam a lot of stuff they, into the book, but um, I'm just going to try to read it and understand it. Okay, uh, there's in the beginning, there's two chapters. The first chapter is a general creation. The second chapter is about a specific creation uh, for a man in a garden. Okay, so just get this idea. One's a general creation, one's a specific creation. Okay, uh, a special area. A special place uh, like a temple a holy place and a holy priesthood okay so in the general creation um, the you can see um, the word uh, it says here in the beginning of God's creation of the heavens and the earth okay and it says bear a sheet bera I'll just do it here bear a sheet bera Elihim at Hashemin ve'at Haaretz. Okay, so um, here you have uh, in the beginning, which is the first part here, and then it's got uh, Elihim. Now that's the term of God there, and in it there you can see uh, Aleph, uh, Lamed, Ha, Yad, Mem. So um, it's actually a plural for gods. But because the verb here, which is before the noun, uh, bara, is singular. So it forces the noun to be singular, even though the noun is plural. That's just how, if you take Hebrew, that's how it works. Okay, And they have the, um, the verb before the noun. So... In, in the general creation, you'll see the uh, for God will be always Elohim, and um, there's a reason why that because um, it's very if you read Genesis even in the English it's very clear that the God is a plurality, okay? and it comes very clear in um, the 26th verse too. And God said, let, God said, let us, us, plural, make man in our image after our likeness. And, and then it said, okay, so it's talking about God. And God, it uses the word Elohim. Oh, is a sec here. Elohim. You can see also um, Hebrew uh, starts on the right and you read to the left. And we start on the left and we read to the right. Uh, so um, that's just the way it goes. That's how they do it. <laughs> okay. So Elohim is here again um, with uh, El, which is God. And uh, Him is uh, plural. It's like putting an S on a, on a Hebrew word. Uh, the Yad M. Uh, M it, it's a plurality. And here is uh, the word for man uh, it's Adam okay but it doesn't have uh, a specific it doesn't have the ha in front of it which is the reveal Adam or uh, like the noun or the the man it doesn't have that which is a ha ha is the fifth letter of the alphabet we'll look into it here's a ha here uh, right there is a ha Anyway, so Adam is man, okay? So let us make man, Adam, in our image, after our likeness. And they shall rule over the sea, and over the fowls of the heaven, and over the animals, and over all the earth, and over all the creepy things upon the earth, okay? And uh, <clears throat> you also in here again, and to the beast of the, in 30, you now it's talking about, Verses talk about making it man uh, in the image of God. And that 
to understand what that means, God sets the limits of that. So uh, some people have made it to some other things, but that's another story. But uh, <coughs> they try to make men into gods. But uh, yeah, God sets limits to men. Um, and here, here's the th verse 30. Here's something, you know, like I used to be a uh, Seventh-day Adventist and they thought that uh, it said that before uh, sin, man just ate uh, vegetables and fruits and green things. And that's because <coughs> in the in translation, they kind of break this part here up. But in, uh, in the Hab Chabad uh, translation here, it comes across the kind of way it should come across. And all, to all the beasts of the earth and to all the fowls of the heavens and to everything that moves upon the earth in which there is a living spirit, every green herb to eat. So it, 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 the, the, uh, the syntax isn't very good, but basically it's saying the man can eat everything. That's what it's saying there. And it was so. Okay. So it's not saying that man was a vegetarian. And if you read that and understand that as that being, and also just the normal nature of things, animals eat animals. Here's man eating, killing animals and eating them. Living the Nahash, uh, which is a living spirit. Everything with a living spirit in them. With this, uh, man can eat that. So there, yes, there was death. But in the second thing, it's talking about a different kind of death, a spiritual death, okay? And it's also, in the th scheme of God's creation, this creation, this earth, is just, it's, um, it's this kingdom. It's a, it's a, a preview. It's a, a place to a start, but it's not a finished work. We're still not a finished work. The earth is not a finished work. God, uh, Jesus came to bring in the new kingdom and a new heaven and a new earth. That's the finished work. Okay, so um, you know it, it, what God made in the beginning was good, but it's not a finished work. Okay, because now there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth, and and so um, it just want you to understand that okay we'll go to the next uh, thing here uh, in in uh, okay so there's the general creation we kind of just kind of just glance to pass that like but there's it, God uses the name Elohim in the general creation and and uh, and then in a specific uh, covenant relationships that he builds he's always using the word Yahweh okay uh, because that's so that's why he's using this another term in this other part it's a whole new different situation here we're making a specific man for a holy place for a holy uh, Eden to represent man to be the to show how man is supposed to live um, okay and so that's what's going on here. So in verse 4, which is the real um, divide here, and you can tell by the divide because here we go with God's name here, right here, it's God's name, Yahweh. And Yad is a hand. It's uh, from the fingers to here. That's considered a hand. Ten fingers, ten fingers. It's the tenth letter of the alphabet. It has a gematria of ten. Okay, so uh, it's got... Uh, the hand, and then it's got Ha, which is the fifth letter of the alphabet. And if you see the fifth name mentioned of Noah, is when he found favor. If you find the fifth mention of David's name, is when he found favor. If you find fifth mention of Esther's name, is when she found favor. It's when she's revealed. And you'll see it all the time. The fifth, the fifth, the fifth, the Ha, the Ha, which is the fifth. Okay, it's the revealing. So you got... Um, the hand reveals, and then you got this uh, vav here. A vav is a nail, or it can be an upright man because it's upright man, uh, just like that. You know, an upright guy. Uh, so it's got the hand reveals 
the nail reveals the upright man, basically. That's the name of God. When he's dealing, when he's making a covenant with men. So think that. And then it's also got the plurality right here, too. Yahweh Elihim. Yahweh Elihim. So there's a plurality in there, which is kind of cool, huh? <laughs> anyway, so, and they'll, they usually, it's, it's translated the Lord God. Yahweh God. Okay. So, and you'll notice that that's the way in the specific creation of creating a heaven, or creating a garden and a man for the garden. And basically, the garden is a holy place. It's a temple. It's a temple place. It's a holy place. Um, and um, there's a whole bunch of things going on there anyway, but I won't talk. Okay. But anyway, I just wanted to say that um, that's what's going on here. If you see that too, you got uh, Yahweh Elohim. That's the Lord God. Um, planted a garden, Eden. Eden. Uh, there it is. Yadin. Uh, I in. Uh, da noon, that's Eden there. Anyway, um, in other words, in front would be planted, something like that. I don't, I'm not, I'm not really up on my Hebrew, so I don't think. But uh, I, I know enough to tell you there it is. There's his name, and this is probably Eden right here because it's got uh, I in a uh, Dalad and a uh, noon there. So that's Eden, Eden, or whatever. So, uh, okay, so, and the Lord God planted a garden in um, Eden from the east, and he placed there the man whom he had formed. And then they established a covenant, which is another story I'll talk about another time. But I just want you to understand, there's two general creation, specific creation over a little area, not the whole earth, just the covenant area, the temple area. And I know that, um, you know, um, like the first, at, the Adam is the first king, prince, guy representing man to God. But he's not the first man. The men are, there's lots of men already. <laughs> it's in the general creation. So, um, I know I'm a heretic. Everybody thinks differently, but anyway. Anyway, I just, you can think about it. Uh, this is how I understand it. You don't have to, practically nobody understands the same way I understand it, so that's fine. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you. Uh, and and uh, something to think about. Uh, God bless.